it's Kelly and I'm back with another two page layout and I'm going to do kind of a format that I like to use is to put a bunch of photos on the right page and on the left page which is the beginning page a few less to tell more of the story so this is some photos of my granddaughter my daughter-in-law who's not in any of these I don't think yeah she's not but she was there um, uh, and um, her grandpa at Disney on Ice, and she's dressed as Anna there, so cute. Um, this, she's all about princesses right now, and this was just a couple months after we got back from Disney, so she was really about the princesses. So that aqua paper that I'm using there is the Cricnic, Cricket Disney Princess Dreams um, deluxe paper there, and it has just it it's the aqua is just the right color there it's it's not it's like flowers in the background I went to look for some princess paper and didn't find kind of like the right thing to use there is there is a little mermaid the little mermaid Ariel is on the back of one of those um so funny that I'm using um a, an ocean paper for an ice layout <laughs> but sometimes that works that way right that blue paper there, the stripe paper, is Doodlebug Petite Prints. Um, it's the blue jean dot stripe. And a lot of times I'll use like a dot there, but I really like the um, movement that it gives the page. I have um, that tag and that sticker there, or sticker, it's a die cut. That castle die cut is from Doodlebug Fun at the Park, the odds and ends. And then I also kind of pulled when I had that tag, because I like the yellow to bring in some yellow from the other page. But then I also pulled this purple three by four card from Ellie Studio. And I really like that better. There is a ton of purple in here. So I, um, especially the photos on the right, just with the lighting. So I thought I would, that's what I decided I would use here. All right. So then kind of playing around with how I'm going to arrange where I'm going to put this. It's big and I'm glad for that. You know, it takes up um, quite a bit of space there. You get the whole castle princess um, idea here. So that's kind of what I'm looking at. Now, I have these little um, pastel Mickey heads. They're like a scrap puffy... Um, um, fabric and they're glitter and they're from scramps scraps and ink crafts on etsy so scraps and ink crafts on etsy she has a lot of disney stuff so if you're looking for that kind of stuff that's a good place to go so and i know those of you who are waiting for my disney layouts <laughs> at least you know hey it's a disney on ice it might be disney itself but might not be but at least it's disney on ice all right so i'm adding in the pink Mickey heads here. I found that little chipboard um, piece that says say cheese and I thought that was cute because you know she's smiling and that kind of stuff. That came from the Echo Park A Magical Place um, Adhesive Brads. That's where that came from and I like I'm getting a little bit of red because there's red in the flags on the left side of the page on that castle. So I want to add a little bit of red and scatter it across to get that. There is a little bit of, um, not so it's not red so much, but it does come off a little bit of red. It's fuchsia, but those, I can't get away from those flags, so I need to get them in. All right. So that's kind of what I'm looking at. I did grab that dream die cut. That's from Cartabella Believe in Magic. It's the frames and tags. I was playing around with my Disney stuff. And then I, I kind of am going back and forth about what color I'm going to use, but decided to get a yellow Mickey head in here to bring in some of the yellow from the other page. Thought about that magic die cut. Decided not to do that, though. And then I'm just looking for more ideas from the Doodlebug um, Fun at the Park. I do like this... Um, die cut piece here to get some more yellow in because there's yellow on the other page and I'm going to use this Mickey yellow Mickey head again to kind of pull things in and what I've decided to do instead of floating that little that big cluster there I'm going to attach it to the bottom of that photo mat attach well I guess kind of because I'll glue it um, but to sort of 
bring the pieces together and overlap. I haven't talked about this in a while, but the more different things you overlap in clusters, the more it blends into the layout. And that's really what you want to do here. So that banner just felt like there was too, it was too much. So what I'm going to do is grab the yellow Mickey head there and then add the pink one up to the top there where I'm going to put the title so that I've got a pink one and a yellow one on each page. So, you know, I'm not mirroring things per se, but you know, I'm getting them close. And then I'm just using my um, Doodlebug Alphabet Soup in white. That's where those letters are coming from. I did add a Brad when I was all done that I looked at it and I wanted I was so I shut the camera off and was like there's something missing here and from that um Cartabella or not Cartabella the hang on a second I'll get it the Echo Park Magical Place adhesive brads they're adhesive brads I found that that die cut so I'm thinking about getting the red in with these Mickey heads but I'm not liking it so I added the fun one and, and then I added these red and black brads that you'll see scattered through the other three embellishment clusters and again those are pearly and they get in some of the black from the photos on the right and some of that red that I want to kind of blend around there's the sheet oh, oops and I did actually add those brads I forgot I added those at least in this particular where you can see them and then I'll just add one more instead of the um the black one felt too small that's what it was now that I'm looking at it all right, there's the still shot and a couple of detail shots. Hope you guys are well, and I'll be back with another layout soon. Bye, everybody. Mm -hmm.